All right, what's good, YouTube? Uh, it is Monday morning. I'm going to be going to work soon, but I wanted to do a quick first scrub video with you. Today I've got something new. I did do an unboxing on this uh, a few weeks back, um, and I finally got through one of my shower bars. It's time for some new soap. So we are going to review Bearsville Soap Company today, and I'm super excited because... I uh, really like these guys, what I've seen of their branding, and I'm really excited about this Tobacco Blossom scent, which is one of my favorite kinds of scents. So, um, just a quick rundown on Bearsville. Um, I don't have a tremendous amount of background on them. They are a small independent, which I, of course, always like to support. Um, I do like their branding a lot. If you go on their Instagram page, which I think Instagram is where I ran across them, um, but if you go on their Instagram page, um, a lot of their kind of branding imagery, a lot of the pictures uh, are very masculine, like out in the woods, living off the grid, um, kind of traditional rugged masculinity, um, healthy masculinity. <laughs> It's a shame we have to qualify that because, you know, in an era when pretty much anything masculine is considered toxic, um, it's, it's refreshing to see a company that kind of celebrates masculinity and uh, the masculine purpose, the masculine drive. So I have a whole list of theories on where the toxic masculinity came from. And uh, I think it's more from bad choices than from bad men generally, but whatever. I'll save that for later. Uh, let's dive into this. Let's talk a little bit about um, about their packaging. It's very simple. You know, um, we got their website, ingredients. I'll read those in a minute. Handcrafted in the USA using natural ingredients, you know, I have to love that So and then they got this little write-up on the back All right, so it says back here top of the crop this slightly powdery slightly floral soap is one of our signature scents Owing to the unique and surprisingly subdued fragrance of the flowering tobacco plant long prized for incredible blossoms Shea butter helps produce a rich lather while red clay helps to detoxify your skin. So, and then they've got their little slogan on the back here. It says, uh, real goods for better grooming. That's focusing. So, and I like this too. From our materials to our methods, we take no shortcuts. And as a result, our soap is the real deal. Nice. Ingredients, olive oil, water, coconut oil, lye, organic, sustainable palm oil, shea butter, fragrance, red clay, and mica. Uh, interestingly, a marked absence of uh, tetra, monosodium, hydroglutamate, uh, number five. <laughs> It's nice to be able to buy things for your body and for your skin that you don't need to be a chemist to understand what's in them. And um, that's one of the biggest reasons why I've moved away from store brands to independence for as much stuff as I can because I just don't trust what they're doing over there. Um, my, my skin and my hair does not look or feel good when I use their products. And I've heard all kinds of horror stories about some of the ingredients. So Johnny Slicks actually had a commercial on Instagram recently talking about he was standing in like the, um, you know, the health and beauty aisle in the grocery store. And he was talking about how it can shrink your, uh, you know, your nuts and stuff. So, uh, yeah, mm -mm. no thanks. So uh, let's dive into this. I'm excited to try this out. And this is how it came in the box. It came in like this. They used a, a small package here. And um, I think it had, that's not true. It had some shredded 
uh, cardboard in it as well. So completely natural, biodegradable, recyclable packaging materials, and then just a simple box. So good on them. I mean, I'm not a big greenie, but I like to take care of the world if we can. I don't want to do unnecessary damage. So here it is. It's kind of this two-tone thing. I'm not sure if that's because of the ingredients and how they meld them together or if that's just a coloring thing that they do. But it's kind of cool. Oh wow. It smells really good. And those tobacco blossoms just smell wonderful. It doesn't smell like a pipe or anything like that. But it does smell like kind of like the leaves. Which is really, really nice. So Gonna get some water flowing in here. I just shaved so the water is still relatively warm. Alright, so maybe it's in keeping with their branding, but you do have to work a little bit to get the lather going. This does not want to sit on the edge of my sink. Put it up here. So, but it is like a low level, what I would call a healthy ladder. Oh my gosh, this smells incredible. Very moist on the skin too. So let's talk about it. Um, I like this stuff. I got it all over the box because I didn't have anywhere else to set it. But it smells great. Um, it's very moist on the skin, rinses really, really well, and doesn't leave you feeling tacky. It leaves your skin feeling really natural and moisturized. And um, I really like this. I think this is going to become my new face bar for the shower because it's it's almost too good to use for anything else. The scent is just incredible. I don't think this will be my last purchase from Bearsville Soaps. Sorry about the uh, <laughs> sorry about the suds, but um, yeah, definitely give these guys a look. There, you can find them on Instagram. Uh, you can find them at bearsvillesoaps.com and. Uh, I really am excited to try more of their products in the future. So you probably have not heard the last of Bearsville Soaps from this young man. Thank you guys for checking in. I got to peace out and get to work. Um, God be with you. Have a wonderful day. And um, <clears throat> I'll dig you on the flip. See you.